Some of you have told us, you guys talk too much about information and digital stuff. I sell things from a brick and mortar store. But you can still create programs like this to educate your customers about the cool things that you have. And maybe you don't even know all the cool things that people can do with your products or services. So ask the AI. Okay, so I am really excited about this because this is something that I believe will help you guys with a lot of the things that you said that you wanted from here. And I wish that we had three full days to do this because I have way more than three days of content on it. But I'm going to go through and I want to kind of give you a context to think about it in. So if you are thinking particularly that you want the number one thing that you said you wanted when you filled out the surveys was that you want more leads and customers. Content marketing is one of the best ways to get more leads and customers. So if, you, if, you, if I can give you several strategies here to increase the level of content marketing you've got, I want you to be thinking, how can I use this to create content that will get me more leads and customers? If you want systems for your business, which was the second thing that, that, that you guys said that you wanted the most, then think about how can I systematize implementing these things into my business. And the third thing you said was we need to hire more people. The cool thing is, is this can really eliminate a lot of content people that you might be paying now or agencies that you're paying way too much to do not enough for you right now. Um, or just set you up to be able to afford to do things that you maybe didn't think you could do. I saw a stat this morning that said that content marketing can increase on average, that it does increase on average, the lifetime value of a customer by 70%. So think about if you got 70% more from the customers that you've already got. Would you still need more of them? Because more customers is great, but I don't know if Ryan's done his talk on it yet, but more customers can actually bankrupt you, right? What we really want is like, I don't, why do you want more customers? I want, my end result is I want more money, right? I want more sales, I want more profits. So if you can have the same customers doing more, get more out of them, that's a good thing too. So I'm gonna run through this as fast as I can to get through as much of it as possible. But um, I really want you to be thinking in the context of how can I use this? Because we are actually using it. The other thing that I'm gonna talk with you about is not stuff that is theoretical, like, you can use AI to do this. That doesn't help me at all. I want to know, what did you do? How is it working? And can I do that? All the stuff that I'm going to share with you is stuff that we actually do, as you will see. So, um, courses. So, how many of you have a course that teaches your customers how to become better customers or how to become a customer in the first place or how to buy more stuff from you right now? Raise your hand. Okay, about 14 people that are willing to volunteer that. I appreciate that. That's good, though, right? Courses, don't think, like, if you sell cars, you can still sell a course. Or you can still create a course that's free on how to get the most out of your car, how to, how to race with your, uh, with your SDI, how to do, like, how to do things. How to is something that we're all looking up all the time. So if you can show people how to use your, con how to use your product or service, how to consume it, how to, how to get more out of it, that's a course that you want to make. So don't think that courses are only for gurus that are teaching courses, okay? So I tested creating a course using exclusively AI, and I thought it would be fun to, to make a course about AI. So right after ChatGPT got launched, and by the way, I'm going to speak mostly about ChatGPT, only because I don't want to confuse you with the others, but if you prefer Bard or Claude or Meta or anything else, it all applies, okay? So right after uh, they launched ChatGPT, I think it was November 28th of last year, I was thinking as I was sitting on my couch watching terrible Christmas movies and ugly sweaters with my family and thinking I wish I could do something else, um, that it was, it's fun, but I mean, there's only so many of those you can take. Uh, can I make a course about AI using AI? So I did. So basically, I created a course 100% uh, from ChatGPT about AI. I, uh, get that click for me. The video, the script, the social media ads, the posts, email sequences, everything, all created by ChatGPT um, over the first seven days between Christmas and New Year's. 
Um, I sold $250,000 of the course along with $84,000 of upsells, and ChatGPT created the upsells, okay? So I just want to show you, like, you can do this quickly. I took literally an hour to do that. And over the next 90 days, it was an additional 1.4 million in sales. Now you can say, yeah, but AI is super hot and I'm selling gecko farming uh, you know, installations and that's not as exciting right now. And that's probably true. But to me, the point is that with no understanding or knowledge beyond the little tiny things I knew about AI back in November, I was able to create a complete course, all the marketing materials, all the landing pages and everything, just using AI. And um, so it created the landing pages, which I'm going to skip through. I just want you to see everything, right? So the landing pages, and it, it gave me all of the takeaways. I didn't have any case studies, so I asked it, give me some examples of case studies that people, of what people are doing with AI and create takeaways from me for me, and it did, right? And, and so I didn't have to have the case studies. I said, here are some of the things that you can do that people are doing with AI. I didn't have to say, here's so-and-so who's using it right now. So you can use that as well as you're creating this. And then I had it create the entire course as well. So it created a multi-module uh, multi course for me as well. All I had to do was, cre was record the content. Those are the case studies. So that's really, really cool. You can use AI to create courses for your product services, and some of you have told us, you guys talk too much about information and digital stuff. I sell things from a brick and mortar store. But you can still create programs like this to educate your customers about the cool things that you have, and maybe you don't even know all the cool things that people can do with your products or services, so ask the AI. Ask AI, what are creative, innovative uses? What are people using this for right now? How can people, and then you can even ask it, go out and, and review. I've had it act as an Amazon review analyzer and analyze all of the Amazon reviews for products like a um, uh, handheld massager for sports you know, medicine and basically give me all the things that are good and all the things that are bad in the reviews. It did, and then we use that to inform how the product is going to be marketed. So we now know the things that people have challenges with. You can do that too. Have it act as an Amazon review analyzer and then find out all the things that are wrong and then create some training on how to do the things that people don't know how to do yet, right? There's a lot of opportunity there. I did it with consulting as well. I was like, can I create a consulting offer around this, let AI do all of the work, create the ads and all that kind of stuff, and the copy for what I'm going to do. I did it, and um, it was it was, and then I did three social posts. Um, all the AI was all the copy was done by ChatGPT. The video editing was done by an AI app called uh, Video Leap, which is I think 30 bucks, and um, and it basically just took pictures I already had and videos I already had, and then did some cool stuff to them. So I didn't need a video editor, I didn't need a team, I didn't need to go find somebody in the Philippines. It just happened because to me, the cool thing about what you can do with AI is you can get rid of the friction. The friction that stopped you from writing the book that you know you need to write, right? The friction that stopped you from creating all of the videos that you should create for Facebook and Instagram and all those things. The friction that stops you from building a quiz funnel that you know outperforms most other media, right? The friction that stops you from doing the podcast that you know could help your brand. All of these things now you can do using AI, and we're going to talk about how we do that. So that created 200, a quarter, my goal was to create a quarter of a million dollars of extra income recurring, uh, and I was able to do that. Again, it took about seven days, right? So I just want you to say, like, you can do this. You can absolutely do this. So we're also using it to enter new markets. So I have this challenge called the Epic Challenge that several of you guys have been through. The Epic Challenge is marketed in English right now. I know that there's 50 odd million Spanish speakers in the United States alone. 4.2 million of those people own businesses. I want to reach them because not a lot of other people are. So if I can add that entire market, then that's, that's a pretty significant group of people to reach. And you guys can do this too. Plus, by the way, ad spend for Spanish-speaking markets and foreign language markets is significantly lower than ad spend required to reach English-speaking markets. So I used two tools to do this. I used DeepL, which is an app, which none of these I have ownership interest in, sadly. Um, Rask is, is the second one. I'll show you 
how we use those to translate everything that was in the English version of this program into Spanish. So whether you've got documents that you already have, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, or, um, or complete video programs, all of that can be translated by AI without you having to do anything. Because all this stuff is done by my team, right? I don't have to do it. So all of the ads were done in Spanish. All of the landing pages, all of the um, Facebook community stuff, all of the email sequences, which you forget about all the things you have to create when you're doing something like this, right? All of that stuff, all done through ChatGPT.